When I say line up, I want the roof to lift off. Yeah? Line up! <laughs> so Taekwondo, let me say, traditional Taekwondo is a military martial art. And being military, everything's regimented. So the simple process of lining up needs to be adhered to. So the basic things of lining up is that you're going to stand behind somebody. Hopefully our front row, our highest rank, will line up nicely and everybody falls in behind. So right now I see people just scattered. This is uh, not well done. So, everybody go like this. Yeah, so you got to move down. Get behind somebody. somebody. Got to be behind somebody. somebody. You can't form your own row. Run to the other end. You got lucky. You found a blank spot. (laughs) That's only six people. She's an eighth degree black belt. Only three people said yes, ma'am. Come on, people, wake up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, remember where you are. Yes, sir. Everybody fall out. Yes, sir. Light up! Face the flags. Hit it. Cut it. My cam. Come on. Face here. Cut it. Cut it. Can you lead us in the uh, Taekwondo oath? Sir. Go. Observe the dance Taekwondo. Observe the dance Taekwondo. When you walk into a workout area, a Jojang, and you see a higher ranking person, what should you do? Turn to face foul, sir. Call the room to attention, turn to face and greet. Thank you. Which has not been happening today at all. Uh, Grand masses are walking around, senior masses are walking around, nobody's giving them the due recognition. It's not for our ego that you're going to bow to us. That's not the issue. Again, we're a military organization. That's our roots. So respect, honor, respecting the elder is all part of our traditions. And we are traditional Taekwondo. So please, enforce this to your people. Yes, sir. sir. Thank you. So the seminar we're going to do today is on how to do CTF forms and make them look right. 
Do Alex, relax, everybody on. Okay, you can relax now. I'm done yelling. <laughs> okay. So I want it to be interactive. I want this to be a learning session. Okay? We're going to focus on first the first degree test forms. We'll be doing Harang, Chung Mu. And we'll see how far we get with those two. If we have more time, we'll get to more forms. But at least we'll start there, okay? So it's open to asking questions. If not every school does the same thing. And we recognize that. Do we want that? Not really. <laughs> we should be all doing the same thing. The easiest reference point for how we do our forms and the techniques in our forms is the ITF encyclopedia or the ITF general Choi books. You might say, well, why does CTF reference ITF? Well, if you know our history, CTF and ITF grew up together. Our great grandmaster, Young Ho Kong, helped develop these forms for General Che and the original founders of Taekwondo. So if you ask, why do we just do the forms the same way? It's because our grandmaster designed it that way. That's what we are. So we're very close to ITF. So if you've got a question about what the technique is in a form, go to the encyclopedia, go to the, uh, the, the uh, General Che books. If you don't have it, let me know and I'll email it to you. So I've got it right on the laptop. OK? So it's free. It's not going to cost you anything. OK? There's a few differences between ITF and CTF. And one of the main differences is when CTF and ITF split. The things that happened in ITF after the split, we did not adopt. So those things that have come out, like the form Junchi, we don't do it. That was formed after the fact. And Junchi was to honor the communist North Korea, which was not part of being on the table. Okay? But that's not the reason. The reason is that it wasn't formed when we were with the ITF people. Okay? If you watch them do their forms, it's, it's hard for me to watch them do their forms because they've got something called a sine wave. You know what a sine wave is? It goes like this, right? Well, so do they. They go like this when they do their forms. I can't do that. That's not traditional Taekwondo. That was not in the original designs of Taekwondo. Okay? To me, the sine wave goes against the, theory of, the theories of power, which is one of them is speed. If you're taking the time to do that before you do a technique, you're losing speed for sure. Okay? So, but the techniques and all that are, are done the same. So throughout us reviewing the forms and how they're done and how to make them look good is the theories of power, supporting everything that we're doing. So who knows what the theories of power are? Reaction force. Loud. Reaction force, concentration, speed, mass, equilibrium, and breath control. Yes, sir. Thank you. Good. So all these things are used in doing a form. If you're going to do a form well, you should be employing the theories of power to do it. The first thing you've got to understand is to do a form properly, you must know what the techniques are. And I've sat on many test boards, and I've looked out, and the people were doing different techniques. And when asked what the technique is, they weren't quite sure. So how can you do a form right if you don't, want to, don't know what the technique is? Okay. So we're going to start with harang. What we're going to do is I want all the red belts, I want the mass instructors to come out on the sides. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like up here around me. Yes, sir. I want the people testing for black belt to come up front. Yes, sir. So I'm going to pick on you guys initially. Okay, so the whole front row is testing for black belt first stand. Sir. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. I'm not picking on one person, I'm going to pick on everyone. <laughs> so you come to the middle. Yes, 
Good. Starting with Harang. Okay, face the same way they are so they can, they yes, can sir. mimic you. Okay. Jumbi. Sir. Okay, Tread. Tread it. Tread. Oh. So, <laughs> part of being traditional Taekwondo is that we got some Korean language we must learn. Sir. Okay. We don't beat you to death. I mean, I'm an Englishman <laughs> speaking to Texans about talking Korean. It doesn't all blend together, right? Yes, sir. Doesn't quite work. <laughs> so, but three of the basic commands like chariot. What's chariot? Attention. Kunyet. Yes, sir. When you bow, how far do you bow? That's very deep, sir. Too far. Too far, okay. How far do we bow? 15 degrees, sir. Thank you. Okay? So a person comes up and goes, I've done some doing a headbutt, or what they're going to do to me? Okay? It's a mild bow. Sir. Okay? You go to shake my hand. <laughs> How do we shake hands to a senior? Good. Not bad. So go to shake my hand. Okay? This is just showing. Respect. I'm doing a friendly gesture. I'm not going to shake your hand, <laughs> right? It's a friendly gesture. Okay? I've had people come up to me go, I'm like, what's this attacking spear finger? No, no, it's, it's a very gentle, mild, friendly gesture. Yes, sir. Okay? So let's start again. Sir. Shred it. Sir. Kunya. Sir. Jumbi. I knew we couldn't get past Jim B. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> it's okay. We're all here to learn and have fun, right? Good. So, Jim B is what, everybody? Harang Jim B. Eh, different variation. Few people got it. So, what the. Senior Master Davis, what's the book say? Book. Up. Up one. For Jim B. It says CRC. What does CRC stand for? Close, ready, stand, C. Very good, Mr. Riggers. Okay? It's close means feet together. Sir. And it's C. Okay, so when you address, you come from here, 15 degrees. Sir. Okay? okay. Is Chumbi a technique? Yes, sir. So treat it such. Yes, Give it a little snap. Come up on your heels a little bit. Snap into it. If you're going to do a form in a competition or a test, you come up and... Am I inspired? No. No. You come up, look sharp, snap in, okay? I picked on you enough, you may go back. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Ah. Okay, should be? One. Harang. One. Relax. You're frozen. Come on, relax. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. I'm a nervous. That's it. What? Part of testing in front of a large test board is not we're going to beat you to death with hundreds of techniques and all this and all that and hours and hours and hours of torture in a test. No, it's about you being able to control yourself emotionally and get through the situation by having mental power over your, your physical body, right? Because the mind and body are connected. Yes, sir. They work together. Okay, so this is part of becoming a black belt is that you show you have control of your mental and physical facilities, okay? Yes, so meditate, makyum is meditate, right? This is when you muck you meditate, and you want to clear everything that's going to happen in the future, and everything that's happening behind, you just going to be in the present state of right now. So being concerned about how you're going to perform in 10 minutes, doesn't matter. Right now. Okay? So clear your mind right now.
one. Not at this one. <laughs> we didn't make it past one. <laughs> Name the technique. Technique sir, the open palm. A open palm. Nobody reads the palm? Who thinks it's not a palm? Okay. Good, we'll get there. A palm is open. Palm fist, sir. It's a palm fist. Is it an attack or a block? An attack? Both, sir. Both. Ah. What is it? Ooh, attack and a block. That's interesting. It is a pushing palm block. Okay? So you must know it's a block to perform it right. Okay? Is it done like this? No. No, you're pushing something away. Okay? Thank you. Next person. Sure. See if we can get past technique number three. <laughs> okay, Chibi. CRC. Closed. There you go. Okay, one. Good. Two. Three. Four. Name the technique. No. Name the technique. Twin forearm block. Thank you. Is he doing it right? What's wrong with it? Not putting his right hand high enough. I agree. Good. Okay. The body structure is built with points of power and weakness. The skeletal structure and the bones and muscles that support the whole thing have to be in the right position. If you're in a position of weakness, you're going to be weak. Like he, right now, he's very weak. What can you do about that? Not much, right? Now, take this arm and straighten it to here. Now, I'm going to do the same thing. See the difference? When your arm is this bent, your muscles aren't supporting the structure. So I can just push him back. Okay, if you're blocking, what's going to happen? The block's going to fail. It's going to collapse. Now you're strong. That's strong. Same thing applies here. Okay? This is flat. I'm coming down. Guess what? I'm going to hit you right in the head. This has got to be up. Position of power. This is strong. Okay? What about the load? Load for me. Load, load the block. I agree with that. You went here, came out, the wrist turn. That was good. Okay? Good, thank you. Next. Jury. Shimbi. One. Yep. Excuse my foot. <laughs> Two. Three. Are these midsection, high section? What are they? This section defined as what? Solar flex. Three. Go. Yeah, make sure you X these. X. Okay. Four. Is that correct? You might disagree with that? That was good. Five. Okay, yeah, what about the stance? Verify Senior Master Davis. Execute middle punch to A with the right fist while forming a right stick stance toward A in a sliding motion. Good. And you did all of that. That was good. You got away with it. Very well done. <laughs> so a lot of people pull in for this. I've seen people go to rear foot stance for this. No. No, you're here. Nothing moves. Then you come here, both feet move. Okay, thank you. Sir. Javit. One. 
Get a little bit more distance. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Would he agree with this? That's the weapon to say no. What do you think? <laughs> okay, you were close. You were real close. Sir. Just got you too close. Sir. Okay, so a little bit about that right there. A nice circle of motion. Sir. Right. Good. Go. Hit. Another one. Okay. And broke. You're done. Good. Sir. Get away with it. Good. Should be. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nobody's arguing with that, right? Good. Ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, good. Stay there. What's happening here with this motion, this movement? Become do do. What's happening here? Okay, so after, here, what's happened? There's this punch. Okay, good. So go back to the punch. Okay, so I've counter grabbed. Okay, so you counter grab me. Pull up to your feet together, bring us about right here. Okay, when you throw the kick, take this to the back hip. Then throw the kick. Right. Got it? Okay. So here, you pull up and then bang. Okay? Good. Thank you. Take it from there. Bring your lamp and die pan. Go. Hit. Hit. Oh. Good. Hit. Good. Anybody got any questions about any of that? That all look good. You're doing good, boy. <laughs> hit. 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 Okay. Make sure you time the step with the punch. On all techniques, you've got to time the motion with the technique. Every technique. Why? Because you indicate more power. You said power, theory of power? Theories of power? Yeah. Called mass, right? You're dropping your mass in. And speed. Okay? If I go step, punch, or what's faster? The, the second one, right? I give you do forms like this. Chung Mu. One, two, three, four, no. One, two, right? Time everything together perfectly. Okay, go ahead. Take it from the first one. Nope. Go, go. Well, he's just going to finish the form for me. <laughs> okay, bro. Okay, take it to uh, this last one here. Okay, one. Right, what do you agree? Sure. Good, I do too. Go. Okay, what stance is that? Stop, don't go. What stance are you in? So you got to bend that back knee because you're coming into elbows. So you got to <laughs> stick your elbows out, right? <laughs> stick your elbows out. Go lean into it. 
you get on the hips, all the way back, because you're elbowing. Okay, two elbows. Okay, thank you. Good. Okay, take it from the uh, elbows. Ah, oh, oh, what are you in? Back stance. Okay, get these on your hip. Okay, go. What is that? Name the technique. Okay, good. Go. Go. And pro. So go back to the elbow. Always to go. Okay? Chin up. Always. Okay? Go. Now, was there any mass involved in this motion? Was there any breath control? What was involved? Arms. How much do you weigh? 127. Wow. I'm like 200, man. Then I'm going to come right through you. <laughs> okay? So you got to use the techniques of Taekwondo for a guy that's 127 pounds to beat a guy that's 200 pounds. You got to use all the theories of power for the, that to happen. Okay? So you come around to here. Okay? Okay? Get the whole body in it. Okay? Make snap. Okay? Good? And finish it off. Let me know his double knife and block. Yes? Is his arm bent enough? How about his wrist? What's going on with the wrist? Is it strong? No, sir. No. <laughs> I won't say you know what to about weak wrists. I won't say that. <laughs> Straighten your wrist. Okay, the wrist must be strong. You're blocking with this. Yes, if this is like this, right? Is that strong? Yes, no. Straighten it out. Theory of power, right? Muscle strength here. You're too straight. This used to be this guy that's getting old now, but when you blocked, you blocked like this, you left your front ribs open for a sidekick. <laughs> Don't know who that person was, but uh, always make sure your elbow's down in your blocks because you want to protect your rib cage. Okay? Okay, bro. Okay, thank you. Good job. Any questions or comments about harangue? Yes, Definition? Definition of harangue? Oh. You ready? Go ahead, son. My man's a book. Oh. That's always a big controversy. Ah. Always a big controversy. Okay. And for you, come up. Do the last movement of the form. Huh? Last movement of the form. Huh? Sir? Huh? <laughs> huh, sir? Okay. <laughs> okay, come on. <laughs> last movement of the form. Harang. Last movement. You forgot the form? I haven't done harangue in a long time. You haven't done harangue? No, not in a long time. It's okay, love. <laughs> At the end of harangue, are you here? Do that. When you come back to parole, what do you do? Right foot to left, left foot to right. What's happening? Right foot to left. Okay? So make sure you know how to end the form. Okay? The form begins and ends at what point? The same point. Thank you, dear. You might notice we have little boxes on the floor that could be fortunate or not fortunate. But tonight during the test, you're going to start on that little triangle. That little uh, triangle in the middle? Yeah. <laughs> so we'll know if you start and end at the same spot. They will be on those triangles, sir. Yes. Okay, moving to Chung Moo. Sure. Mm. 
Keep an eye on time. I want to run over time. 146. Going good. Okay, trade it. Kunye. Jimby. Okay, not bad. No. No. Okay, one. Everybody like that fold? Okay, so when you're doing a twin forearm or twin knife hand block, right? You're going to fold from the hip and it's going to come up and it's going to turn over. Okay? That way you can get snap. If it goes straight, there's no turn of the wrist, there's no snap. Right? So come up. If you time it with a stance, all of a sudden you got something. It looks good, right? How to make form look good. Well, master instructors, go fix back stances for me. Sure. <laughs> Including this one. Yeah, I see him. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Should have whispered. <laughs> What's the weight distribution of a back stance? Then make it 70 30. Can you lift up your front foot easily? Well, you're probably on the right track. Okay, show. So I made up a little uh, seminar notes document that will get printed up for you so you can take home and uh, review once in a while but let me read it to you overall because this all applies to what we're doing right now how can you perform a form well without knowing what you're doing that's where we started at know each technique and its application so you should know how each of these movements apply in a real life fighting situation, okay? When Grandmaster Kong was going through the ranks, he was actually learning this art, developing this art for hand-to-hand -hand combat in trenches. There was no sport about it. There was no point fighting to get a trophy. It was life and death survival. So these techniques are designed to take somebody out with one technique. So if you perform it properly, <laughs> it should be a devastating technique, okay? Sure. Time your steps with the execution of the technique. This obviously involves mass and speed. Knowing what the technique is allows you to employ concentration. If you don't know if it's a palm or a knife or a punch or whatever, you're not able to concentrate the technique into a small area. That's the difference between getting slapped, which is a larger area, might make more noise and sting, or getting hit with a knife hand at the same power, you feel the difference. Because the power is concentrated to a smaller area. Sure. Right? Just like a knife will cut you, but a bat won't. Right kind of thing? So concentration comes into, your, into the play. Load the techniques properly. Grand, great Grandmaster Kong, rest his soul, had the same the emotion, the, uh, saying, more, bigger, motion. In fact, uh, Senior Master Owen made up t-shirts that has more, bigger, motion on it. That's not it. Yes. He, but, <laughs> yeah, he was trying to fool me. Like, what's coming up? <laughs> what's happening next? 
So more big emotion means you got to load the block to make a full big motion. Okay? Perfect subject for this. You're a larger guy. Taller, broader, everything, right? So if you do your techniques here, might be right for her, <laughs> but for you it looks ridiculous. Sir. You're a big guy. You've got to have full motion out here, right? Yes, use your whole extension. Sir. Okay, so always use the full block. Big motions, okay? And what would be the theory of power for, for, for more bigger motion? What's the theory of power that supports more bigger motion? So what's it called? Reactionary force. Thank you for the long answer. <laughs> Reaction force. Extend and hold your kicks. So if you're good and flexible for a form application, if you can hold that kick out there just for a second, it makes that much more impression, uh, particularly your side kicks. If you can put a side kick out and just hold it for a second, great impact in the visual appeal to the form. Not so much for underarm combat, but, <laughs> but for the visual appeal of the form. If you can hold the kicks out there, please do. Where's the key up in Harang? And who decided that? <laughs> Some guy above me. You can key up in a Taekwondo form wherever you feel inspired. Okay? When you're in lower rank, we will suggest places to do it. We may make it mandatory. Okay, but you get to higher forms. If you're doing the form with energy and excitement, let the key up fly. You know? It's usually at the end of a run. Okay? But if you've got a big technique, let the key up out. And why do we key up? What theory of power? Breath control. Breath control. Before you start a form, you must know where the slow motion movements are. How many slow motion movements are in Harang? How many slow motion techniques are in Harang? One, where? <laughs> we covered that. <laughs> You're pushing somebody away, right? There are no slow motion movements in our ranks. It's a trick question. Uh, second degrees and up. How many slow motions are in Conge? No. Oh. oh. Hopefully we can get to Conge next. <laughs> oh, how many slow motions in uh, Chengmu? None. The fact that you're not answering means you're not sure. Okay? Be sure. Know where the slow motion movements are before you start the form. Again, if you don't know what you're doing in the form, it's not going to look good. Right? Know the form. Same thing with stamping techniques. Know where your stamping techniques are. Now we'll go there. <laughs> Don't bend your back, bend your knees. When is it appropriate to bend your back? Doing the form. It's not. 
Why? What theory of power are we violating? Equilibrium. Thank you. Okay, so don't bend your back. No point. Be coming up to the next dance here? No. Bend your knees. Okay? Never lean over. Never lean over. Breathe with every technique, every movement. That's the obvious answer. It's breath control. There are some practitioners that hiss in every movement. Personally, I don't hiss. But is it incorrect? Yeah, not really. You're breathing every movement. If you're hissing, I know you're breathing. So you've got to breathe in and out on every motion. When do you exhale? At what point do you exhale? You're up here, you answer. The execution of the technique. Say it loud. Execution of the technique. That's when you're executing a technique. <laughs> as I, boom, as I stamp down, everything comes together, I exhale. Okay? Good. Before you learn a form, you should learn every new technique that's in that form so you can perform it properly. You shouldn't be learning new techniques while you're learning the form. Okay? So hopefully your curriculum is structured where you, you learn the techniques before you taught the form. And that's all throughout ITF, CTF, and everything, okay? So this all references the theory of power. And a special note here, no sine wave. <laughs> to our ITF friends, thank you. <laughs> we respect your sine wave, we just don't do it. Okay, Chungu, one. Okay, exit. Okay, bend your knees. Let your knees are bad. Okay, a little more angle here. Two. Okay, what is this? What is this? A knife. Knife what? What? Block, thank you. Don't lose cover your head. Sir. Okay, good, thank you. Have a, go back to where you are. Moving on. My book, my encyclopedia, right here. Okay, Chibi. One. What's wrong with it? Think about it. Straighten your wrist out here. Strong, right? Yes, sir. Two. Yeah. Two. A lot of bent wrists out there, people. Straighten them up. No reason for bent wrist. A little bit wide. Three. Four. That fast or slow? Fast. Fast. In some martial arts styles, they will teach you whenever there's an open hand technique, particularly a spear hand, that you should get set in your stance and then apply the technique. Just so you're steady and able to aim. Okay? But that kind of goes against speed. <laughs> so it's done as a fast motion. Okay, thank you. Not my fault you can even remind you to clean the bathrooms. I mean, but <laughs> it's always the husband's fault. <laughs> you can edit that. <laughs> Where am I at? Second row. Jimmy. One. Okay, you got an X. 
2. Three. Should the heels align? Okay, so the heels here, this heel should be lined up just like that. Okay? I would say 60-40, wouldn't you? So 70-30. Hit! Hit! Open or closed? Open, thank you. Very good. Hit! Okay, there is a motion there, a movement. From here, you turn to one leg stance, closed fist. Okay, go. Bring your knee down. Now, bring your knee up as bring your hands down. Fist. Do it again. Lay knee down. Up. Bang! One motion, right? Even this. Same time. Okay, good. Thank you. We can do enough. Somebody else? Next. Hopefully you have a nice psychic. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> Speaking about he's got a terrible psychic from here, right? <laughs> okay, go from here. Take it from here. There you go. Hit. Not bad. Open or closed? Open it is, thank you. Hit. Okay, go back. No, no, no I'm not done with you. <laughs> go back to here. So what is this happening next? Tell me the technique. Flying psychic. A flying psychic. But how done? Do it again. Is that right? No. It's not a bad flying psychic. Come on back. Read it. It's Senior Master Davis. There you go. There you coming. Turning counterclockwise to, am I reading the wrong one? Sorry. <laughs> yes. Sorry, the wrong way. There we go. One to go. <laughs> Execute a flying side conspiracy kick to D with the right foot in double motion and then load to D, forming a left L stance toward D while executing a middle starting block to C in contact. So that's not that descriptive of what we want. <laughs> <laughs> From here, you step forward, you raise the left knee up, then you turn your hip for the flying psychic and land a knife hand. Yeah? Give it a try. That's more like it. Why do we raise the knee up? What's your point? And height. Get you up. Okay? So, front row. Right back stance, knife hand. Hut. Right back stance. <laughs> okay. That's the front row. Then we'll do this. I don't want you kicking each other. Okay. Try it. Go. One step. Knee up. Side kick. Okay. Next row. Go. Masters, make sure you're looking around, helping. Next row. Go. Next row. Go. Next row. Go. Yep, next row. Go. Can't see you, but go ahead. Okay, now we take a step back. 
I appreciate you enough. Thank you. Next person. After the psychic, you land in a what? Double knife hand. Good. Okay, go. Everybody agree? Yeah, I think you'll block a little further. Okay. Block a little bit further. Go. Okay, explain what you just did there. Grab me. Grab what? Their head. Grab the head? Where do you agree? Grabbing the head? I believe it does say grab shoulders, but I'll bite by grabbing the head. Makes more sense to me, but it could be grabbing shoulders. Okay? Okay, go. Grab the head. Okay, come back and move. You got some room. Okay, take it from here. Sir. Go. Don't we go like this? Yeah. So you grab the head or shoulders, right? Yeah, do that. You almost hit me. <laughs> what is this called? Chan. A what? Oh! Oh! Oh, violation. <laughs> so, <laughs> many moons ago, when I first started learning Taekwondo back in the 1970s, my first instructor was a Taekwondo instructor, but he was formerly a Shotokan black belt, Japanese style. So a lot of the terminology that he taught me was actually Japanese terms, like rich hand, okay? Roundhouse kick, wheel kick, okay? Not Taekwondo terms. So I'm not gonna say that it's wrong, it's just that we prefer for you to use Taekwondo terms so this would be called a what? Reverse knife hand. Okay, what's a wheel kick? Reverse turning kick. What's a roundhouse kick? Turning kick. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Picking you enough. <laughs> Next. Go. Okay, that first turning kick, sir. Where, where, where was it aimed at? The head, sir. The head. Sir. Okay, good answer. Sir. Is it pointing straight down to a person over here? Your target here? Where's your target? Not sure? Anybody know? Hmm? The head. Yeah, but kicking him in the head, I agree. Actually, he's here. Sir. So your turning kick is to me here. Yes, sir. Okay, do it. Good. And then step down and do your psychic to the guy that's over here. Sir. Open or closed? Open. Closed. <laughs> How many closed fists are in Chung Mu? Think about it. Who said two? Where are they? <laughs> right there. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Correct. Thank you. So if you know in your head there's only two closed, oh, the rest are open, makes it easy, right? Yeah, know your forms. Yeah, picture you enough. Go on. Thank you. Next. Okay, take us from back psychic. You got your 20 kick to here, turn, back like it there, and landing. See, more big emotion, right? Can we turn? Yeah, all the theories of power come to play, okay? What's the next technique? Name it. Turning kick. Turning kick, sir. To where? 
to 45. Very good. So go back and do it again. Yes, ma'am. What's this called? U-shaped block. Should the hands align? Someone's attacking you with a stick? Well, it must be someone's attacking with a stick. Fancy that. Okay? So always the thumbs out. Is it out like this, though? If you block the stick with your thumbs, guess what's going to happen? You're not going to have thumbs anymore, right? So you got to go like that. You're blocking in here, okay? How do you line these up so that it's the same? Let <laughs> me <laughs> 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 show you. <laughs> it's easy to show you. Relax this, show, this here. Take this to your hip. If this point's on your hip, right, and you get hit hard, you're going to elbow yourself in your own ribs. So relax this elbow past your body. And this is easy to line up. Right? If it's like this, you're never going to line it up. Okay, so get this over your head. And just relax this. And get them lined up. There you go. Okay, thank you. Next person. We have a hole. What happened? <laughs> okay. We'll go down the end. I actually want to, I'll pick on you, but next one up, I want to get a existing first stand. Your man's got three strides already. Get relax that a little bit. That way down the other. Okay, good. Okay. What are we doing here? Name the technique. What are we doing? Next movement. Remind me. You want to read it, Mrs. Senior Master Davis? Then what's next? Uh, jump and spin around counterclockwise, landing on the same spot. Perform a left L stance towards C while executing a middle guarding block to C while with a knife hand. Got it. Go. Okay. Go away with it. Good. That's good. Bit of a difficult jump when you're jumping into the 360. Uh, people with bad knees or lack of equilibrium <laughs> find this motion particularly hard. So it's hard to go from here and just do a 360 jump, right? So great grandmaster taught me how to make it easier. What he taught me was take your front knee and as you jump up, just bring it around and put it back down. So it's here. So much easier than taking both feet up and trying to do it. Okay? So let's take this, go real easy. Of course, land. So everybody try that. Okay, get his position. We look like him. <laughs> and go. And again. Go. That easier? Yes, sir. A little bit. Yeah. You gonna swing stuff at him? Oh, give me a big stick. Yes, <laughs> sir. Why are we jumping in the first place? Can I hit up in the bottom, sir? It could be a big stick being swung at you. <laughs> okay. 
Blocking a sweep. Thank you. Very good. Okay, go back. Thank you, Mr. Castro. Appreciate it. Next. What rank are you? Uh, go back. I want lower rank. Give me some first stands. Where's my first stands? Yeah, okay. There's one. This is Chung Mu. I want to pick him first stands. <laughs> okay. You are you? I'm better than you are. Go. Nope. Last movement. Go. What's the next movement? No cheating over there, Roberts. <laughs> no. I know you freaked up, sir. Don't be freaked. Come on, you can get it. You'll get there. Do it. Nah. Oh, is that how it's done? No, relax. You're freaking yourself. You know this stuff. I know you know it. I know you know it. What's this? Name the technique. Lock your knee. Lock it. No, your knee. Okay, low section spear hand. Go. What is this? What is this? Back fist. Very good. What are you going to tell me it's a block? Is it here or is it here? Good. It's an overhead. So you perform this, it's actually coming back over the head. Okay. Hit. Ah! I don't know what form he's in, but uh, he's somewhere else. <laughs> you want take it? All right. Go. Be finger. This too high. Okay. Let's push your elbow. Yes, sir. Okay. There you go. Okay, thank you. Next person. Thank you, sir. Yep. Hello. Hello. Good. Hello, sir. Now? Yeah? Ah, okay. Turn around. Spoofing. Okay, go. <laughs> Everybody's freaking out in the form. Next movement? No? Name the movement. What is it? Thank you, son. Okay, you need to get wider. Your stance, yep. This loads from your ear down to here. Okay, straighten your wrist. There you go. No? Okay. Next, please. Hello. Hello. Good. Take it from here. Spear hand. Go. You know, people going like this. Turn that wrist up. Okay? It's not down like this. It's here. It doesn't touch either. It's not touching it. It's, it's in a supportive position, but not actually supporting. <laughs> Go. Oh, no, not on a frozen one. 
one. What Chung Mu is the black belt form. <laughs> Ascension. No. Straddle. Straddle. And what is this? Yes. Supported or not supported? Back in the day, we did used to support it. So if your instructor is old enough as we are, <laughs> I've taught you that way. Doesn't mean I'm not old. <laughs> but it is not supported. Sure. That would do far, yeah. So you're coming here. Okay. Whenever you're dropping into a, a, a straddle stance, or as ITF calls it, sitting stance. Okay. Okay. Drop your body weight into it. You know the next movement? Oh, he knows that one. All right, good. What is this? Back fist. Good. Okay, thank you. Next person. Thank you. Hi. Greetings. Was it? I'm over my time? Oh, okay. Okay, so where are we at? Back fist, good. What stance are you in? That's still true, Mrs. Master? Hit. Next movement. Next movement. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Don't be shy. No, nope, wrong leg. <laughs> okay. And what happens? Hit. Yeah. What stance are we in? Nope. Back stance. Is that a back stance? Yeah, a little bit longer. Okay, thank you. We can somebody knows. Who knows Chung Mu well? <laughs> okay, son, come on. <laughs> he's married. He's born in a couple again. I like him. <laughs> Take me from here. Did you key up there? Oh. Oh, it's a great place to key up, by the way. Yeah? Okay. Go. Oh, what was that? Do that again. Block, leave this on the hip. Okay? Because then you're going to go. See what happened? Right? What's this called? What's happening here? We're loading it properly. So we have reactionary force. Yeah? And we're going to use our body. So we have mass, and we do it fast so we have speed, and you're going to breathe when you do it. So what do you have? All the theories of power. Go. Okay, pro. Show. All right, let's break it down. <laughs> Who wants to break it out? Who wants to lose Chung Mu well? Pick up somebody else. Another Chung Mu person. My book stop, come here. Mr. Encyclopedia. Take Chung Mu from here. Back fist. Yep. Go. Side kick. Step down. Side kick. Okay, so, so hey, hey, come back. I've got to talk about this. Okay, back stance. Now, was this nice? Technically correct. But is he using his extension? Is he in a position of power? 
Okay, get away from you. Right? Yeah, growl. See, some people do this. After the kick, they land and step into this. It's a defensive movement, so I don't see any reason to step into it. You kick and land, okay? Just land, boom. Go. Oh, 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 oh. What are you doing here? What's this technique here? Name the technique. Thank you. If I'm blocking here, what am I blocking? Probably not blocking either. You really kick me, punch me, or he's dunk. It's just, you gotta get away from yourself, son. Okay? Okay? Right? <laughs> you ever see Grandma Mr. Kong do that? <laughs> right? Yeah? Energized. Okay, go. Use your body. How much do you weigh? Uh, Not much. <laughs> so you gotta use your whole technique to have power. So, if you go. You literally won't kill a fly. Okay? So, use your technique, people. Sir. Make your forms look good by doing them correctly, using the theories of power. Bring all these things together. And your forms will be beautiful. You have to be able to kick up here. You have to have proper movement. Proper movement. So if you can kick up here, we love you. <laughs> okay, it's pretty. Is it necessary? Is it effective? If I'm in a street fight, I ain't taking. I ain't gonna kick you in the face. I'm sorry. Give me a lot lower. <laughs> okay? It's practical, right? Okay, thank you. What time am I? Oh, dear. Okay. I've exceeded my time, but that's okay. Um, I'll open it up to questions about anything. Anything. History, techniques. Anything you want? Oh, hey. Say again? Competing at nationals? If me personally? Oh. So you asked me what my favorite form is. What's my favorite form? Yes. That's a good question. Well, we know 24 forms. Why, why do we have 24 forms? I know you know. <laughs> Why do you have 24 forms? What's that? Residence. Wait. 24 forms. What is 24? Why 24 forms? Ooh, that's a good twist. He <laughs> was so close. Very true, but no. <laughs> 24 forms because that's 24 hours in the day. You do a form every hour for every day for the rest of your freaking lives. That's Taekwondo. Okay? Everything we do in Taekwondo has a meaning. Nothing's by chance. Literally every movement, everything we do, is a, there's meaning behind it, okay? The Koreans spent decades taking movement, philosophy, and everything from all the martial arts around the world and pulled it together to be made Taekwondo, okay? That's what it is. So I didn't answer your question, I know. I'm trying to think of what is my favorite form. Oh, you're going to, oh. Oh. I watched him perform at tournaments thousands of times. Always won first place. Po Wan. 
Ho Wan. Okay, it's interesting. So poan is a very good form or very bad form. If you don't use what we just learned today, the theories of power in poan, it's going to be a horrible form to look at. Just horrible. I mean, it's two back stances and straddle stances the rest of the way. Low section kick. I mean, it's a, you do it right, and it's a beautiful form. With power, snap, and the whole piece. It can be a beautiful form. Okay? I think gay back is my favorite form. Any other questions? Yes, sir, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Dr. Rod. How do our senior masters want to see Taekwondo carried on into the future with this generation? We are not going to be around forever. They're the next ones that are carrying on. What is your hope for how they are going to carry that on? Wonderful question. We differentiate ourselves from sport taekwondo. We are not sport taekwondo. Jimaquan taekwondo is about the original founding style, which is you know, trench warfare, right? And growing out of that. So we want to see CTF continue as a traditional taekwondo. There's a lot of other martial arts out there that you can learn. I studied Chinese Kenpo for years. I have my black belt in Shonru. I have my black belt in Kabuto. And all those little styles started to blend in with my Taekwondo. And it became a blended martial art. Then we went under Grandmaster Kong. And he slapped me straight. <laughs> and we went back to pure Taekwondo. And that's what we are. And that's what I'd see, I'd like to see taken forward in the future is the traditional pure Taekwondo. Because Taekwondo is it's not about winning trophies. It's about making you better people. About making you have a better life. I can't tell you how much my Taekwondo has trained has helped me in my job. Now I was a shy English kid coming to America that knew nobody. And through the Taekwondo training, I became a very successful uh, outside salesperson and the sales manager, sales director. It, it's really, I credit Taekwondo training for getting me to that point. So now I have a nice retirement and you can make your life very good just by having the right mindset and treating your body correctly. So Taekwondo is not about how many trophies I can win, it's about how you can prove your life and as instructor help other people come along. Because CTF is for everybody. We don't care color, race, creed, whatever you're into. We don't care. You're here to learn Taekwondo and make the world a better place. Yes, sir. Anything else? Yes. I wanted to ask what more piece of advice that Grandmaster Kong gave you that you can share with us. Most important one is Strong mind. Strong mind will get you through your hardships of life. Always having a strong mind. Grandmaster Kong lived over 90, overcame quite a few illnesses, and he credited having the strong mind to get through it. You agree with that? Yes, sir. Strong mind. Strong mind, strong mind. Yeah, yeah. You say you have rank in other martial arts. Yes. Why Taekwondo? Why is this the one you've chosen to pursue to such heights? What about it? It was the, the philosophy behind it that helped me so much. The, um, if you look at other martial arts, a lot of them will bash Taekwondo. They look at Taekwondo as what they see in the Olympic sports. Where they have Olympic fighting, where they come in like this. Yeah. Hands down, this close. Well, what, what, are we, what are we gonna do? Wham! Right? So it's realistic. Sure. What we teach is realistic. We don't, we're not gonna be fighting with our hands by our sides. <laughs> the kicks are fantastic. 
The power of our kicks is, is the best in martial arts, no question. We have the best legs. I won a contest for best legs once. Oh, really? Yeah, I have a trophy. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I'm past my time. Thank you very much. Turn it. Kunya. All right, hold on, everybody. Okay, we're all going to give you all five minute break, and then uh, Master Ramirez will start his seminar. Sure. All yes, right, sir. So yes, sir. go visit the CPS table where they're selling a lot of fun stuff. There's a restaurant thing over here. So, uh, you know, kind of clear your head, and then uh, please come back and see Master Ramirez. Five minutes, not five minutes and one second.